Hello and welcome and today I'm going to be showing you how to fade in and out in Adobe Premiere Pro. Yes, this is an Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, not Sony Vegas. Um, you know, I don't know what tutorials to do so I decided to go with Premiere Pro. But anyway, first of all you want to drag your clip into the project importing area here. So I'm just going to get this clip here and then drag it in. Just like that. You'll import the file you'll do it pretty quickly now once it's in this uh, project importing area place you want to drag the clip onto the timeline just like that make sure it's at the start don't drag it all the way out here like this because it will just mess up make sure you pull it to the very start as you can see now you want to go on effect controls as I already have here now if you don't see this effect controls window, it's like closed or something, just go on window and effect controls and it should be there. Now if you see this thing where it says no clip selected, just select the clip and then you'll get this um, um, bunch of options. Now the, uh, the the thing that you want to like concentrate on is this setting opacity or opacity depending how you say it. Um, so what you want to do is you want to expand the options here by clicking this little triangle and as you can see um, there's a bunch of options here as well now I'm just going to zoom this in by clicking this little mountain shape thing um, you want to zoom it in you want to zoom it in until you can see like each second as you can see one second and two seconds and so on so I'm going to just drag this slider drag it to the start now I want to set now before you actually set the opacity or opacity whatever you want to decide how long you want the fade in to last so I'm just gonna say I want my fade in to last one second so first of all you want to set the opacity to 0% at the start make sure you're at the start of the video so drag the slider all the way back and then I'm gonna move to one second just by clicking on it. As you can see, now I'm on one second. Now you want to set the opacity to 100. Just like that. Now, if I play the video again, as you can see, it fades in within one second. Now, fading out, it's a little bit different, but still, it's kind of the same. But um, you've got to create your own keyframes when you're fading out. So I'm just going to zoom it all the way out, just like that. And drag the slider to the end. Zoom in again. Now you want to decide when you want the fade out to start. So since my video is 3 minute 56 long, I'm just gonna say I want my fading out to start at 3 minute 55. So I'll just find 3 minute 55 here. Where is it? I'm using touchpad so it's a bit hard. So there we go, 3 minute 55. There it is. So I'm just going to click on 3 minute 55, just like that. And you want to create a keyframe at this time. So by doing that, click on this little diamond shaped thing, click it, and then you should um, get this little diamond thing here. Now you don't need to configure this keyframe at all, you don't need to do anything with it. And then um, once you created that little um, thing at the end, you want to move your slider to the end of the video. Just like that. And at the end of the video, you want to set the opacity to 0%. Just like that. And it will create another keyframe for you there. So if I play this again, it will look something like this. As you can see, it faded out. And the video starts again since it's on the loop. But um, besides that, that is basically it. So um, thanks for watching. And more Premiere Pro tutorials and more Sony Vegas tutorials, Windows tutorials, you name it, um, will be coming soon. And yes, something comes up about my performance again. There's nothing wrong with my bloody computer. Anyway, thanks for watching. And um, see you in the next video. Bye.